Hello, hello, hello. I am with my baby. Okay. And I have carrots for him. Carrots, oh yeah. We already took some nice photos together. Oh yes, oh yes. And the nose healed up beautifully. Beautifully. I put sodium bentonite clay on the herpes wound. He had a herpes wound on the nose. And he had some had that before and every time I put sodium bentonite clay on it, it heals it right up. It's amazing. Yes, it's so amazing is that. Yes, I don't have any more carrots now. Yes. Yeah, that is it. That is it. That is it. Yes. And this is now my boyfriend. <laughs> he is my boyfriend now. Officially declared. And I wanted to explain why. <laughs> because he's nice. Yes, he's always nice. He is a, he's a nice guy. Yes. He's nice. Oh, and he, he lets me kiss him. Right now he wants carrots. <laughs> he's in carrot mood now, right now. Yes, he wants more carrots. Yes, he does. And he goes for my, my belt buckle. <laughs> he goes for my belt buckle. And he likes to rub his, his eye on, on me like this. so funny yes be careful with my belt buckle oh you got my pants all dirty now but that's okay I'm not going anywhere <laughs> I'm not going anywhere to impress anyone so you are my everything you are yes the reason why he is my boyfriend now officially is because he looks good, okay. He has a striped weenie. <laughs> Big, yes. <laughs> yes, he is a gorgeous guy. And <laughs> and he doesn't judge my appearance. Yes. He's not not judgmental at all. He's all chilled, okay. <laughs> He has a lot of humor and he smells good. Yes, he smells. <laughs> I love that lip. That upper lip is so. These lips are so powerful. They're full of muscles. <laughs> They're very hard and muscular, those lips. <laughs> And he can, he can pluck the grass with those lips, you know, like a, almost like a tweezer, like a leg hair grabber. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my everything. Yes, you are my everything. I don't have any more. I'm sorry. <laughs> he has a lot of humor. <laughs> He's yawning. Yes, you are my everything. That is what you are. And I just want want him to live with us. And I would let Paul sit on his back. And then I would put a hat harness on him and I would lead him on the rope with Paul sitting on his back and then we would that's how we would be walking through nature and that would be so much fun that would be so much fun to do I would not sit on his back because because I'm too heavy Yes, I would never do that. So. 
I need a real big horse, uh, I need a large draft horse, a Belgian draft horse, those are the biggest horses in the world, the, the strongest horses in the world, those I could ride. And I haven't been sitting on the back of a horse in, I don't know, like 30 years or something. So, and I really miss that. I really, really miss it. Yes. I think the last time I, s I was riding a horse, actually I was riding a horse a little bit taller than him, but I wasn't. I wasn't 225 yet. I was like, I don't know. I was like 170 or something. So that was still sort of, sort of okay. But the horse was big, a little taller than him. Half Arab and half Hafninger. And that was a very nervous horse. And and I was a little reckless at that time. I was, I had the dog, the Great Dane with us, and then the Great Dane spooked him. I already told the story before. And the, and the horse kicked me into a, into a ditch. And and I tore my feeble Lars outer band, the same one. So. That's called direct karma, you know. You learn from your mistakes. And that's, I, I was 24, and I think, I think that's the last time I was riding a horse, when I was 24. So I really miss being with horses. I really miss having a horse. I wanted my mother to buy me a Belgian draft horse, but she had a community of Iceland horse people, and they were they were even a little bit shorter than him, and she didn't want this really large Goliaths among them. She wanted them all to be Iceland horses to to match, and so. Yes, you are my alien. My alien. Oh yeah, I love you. <laughs> you smell good. You smell like grass and carrots. That's what you smell. <laughs> and really warm horse smell. Love that horse smell. What are you doing now? <laughs> He grabbed my bell from the back. Yes, you are my everything. You have so much humor, yes. So much humor. Don't pinch your neck like that. I don't like that. Don't wanna see him pinch his neck on these. And I don't, I would never have a, a fence like this, okay. I would build a fence out of not out of wood because I don't want to support the, the logging industry. I don't want any more trees to be cut. I would use two by fours made out of a mix out of plastic and wood chips like stuff that, that is already there that comes out of different industries so like an, a mix of different materials that they make two by fours with and that are environmentally sustainable and they are they cost more money which is wrong they should be they should cost like half the price to make people buy those instead of buying wood but they have everything backwards because the logging industry, the lumber industry, they have their fingers in politics. That's why, yes, that's what it is with the human species all over the planet. Yes, they don't do, they do everything backwards because of greed.
Yes, we're looking to see what Paul has there. Paul has, ch he has those cookies in there, and he sees that. Yeah, he wants so he wants those cookies too. He wants, yes, but he can't have them because those chocolate chip cookies are not good for horses. So don't give horses cookies ever. Never ever. Don't give them dog biscuits. Dog biscuits contain animal fats and proteins in them. And horses are vegan animals. They, are, they really are 100% vegan animals, like cows. Okay. They can only eat vegan, vegan stuff. Whole food vegan. And the best is raw. Okay. Raw vegan food is the best for horses. So, yes, and he, he is always nice. Come and give me a kiss. Come, he see, he wants Paul to come out and give him. <laughs> He's like, no, I want the cookie. That's the look on his face now. No, I, I'm not coming over until you give me a cookie. I want the, <laughs> yes, you want the cookie. I can see that in your face. Yes, you're a little bit off standard. No. Yes, you want the cookie. You're not coming over until you get the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, no. Here, is that, does that work too? Yes. A carrot. Yes, it works too. <laughs> I have to bribe him over. Yes, yes. He wants cookies. Yes, that's when he sees Paul eating those through the window, through the tinted window. He's, re he's really, and he's really intelligent and sees everything. Yes, he see Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Are you want a kiss? A kiss? Oh! <laughs> this here is so soft. This is the softest in the world. The softest skin. This is velveteen rubber. <laughs> is that so nice? Is that yes? So nice. So and his eyes are so beautiful. Such beautiful, gorgeous eyes. Yes, you see, Paul. You think that he's gonna come over and give you and give you another carrot piece. Is that another her piece there? I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna put another little piece of sodium hydrated sodium bentonite clay on that, on that herpes thing that's growing there again on the nose, on the other side of the nose. I'm really worried about that because that's a that's usually caused by some immune stress and too much loneliness actually causes that, you know. So I'm really worried about him all the time. I pray to the blue God to protect him. And the, sometimes he's standing with the other horse. They stand together like, and then I see they even made, this is really crazy, wow. They made that fence higher. Now the horses can't even they can't even groom each other. So yeah, you can give him you can give that to him. I'm not showing you. You can give it to him. <laughs> Go ahead. But be careful with your fingers. Don't let him accidentally nip your fingers. <laughs> yes. They made the, the fence higher. That's totally insane. The horses, they need to be together. They, they need to be standing together. They need to lean against each other. They need to touch each other. Okay? So he doesn't have a friend here. He's completely alone. This is wrong. This is unethical. Okay? This is my message to the world. If you have a horse, you have to have a companion animal. Companion animal. A horse or cow or pig. Companion animal or goat. Another vegan animal to give him company, okay? That's very, very important. 
they are herd animals, okay? They need touch and companionship. They need, really need to have a group. They need to have a family, okay? This is very, very important, very important information. Okay, so, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't see the mouse thing, okay, so. Okay, you guys take care. Bye-bye.